Okay, when you first start it up, you're just going to choose English and then the top option to install. And for the most part, you're going to be choosing default options. Um, English is the language. United States is your country. Default uh, keyboard is going to be USA. Uh, USA. And then it's going to get kind of boring. Progress bars are going to shoot across the screen. Here's where you're going to enter the name of the server. All lowercase, one word is usually what you're going to look for. It's going to try and detect the time zone that you're in. It's almost certainly going to get it right. It did, so we're going to say yes. Okay, the next is the partitioner. You've got a few options. You're going to want the default option of use the entire disk and use LVM. That's the logical volume manager. I only have one disk. I'm going to choose that one. And then yes, I want to override the, da the data there. Because you're using LVM, um, you have to say yes, I do want to use the entire disk here. And then it's going to propose a partition table to you. And you're just going to say yes. So you don't need to really understand a whole lot about that. If you do have questions, then um, there's a lot of good documentation, but you don't, you don't need to worry much about it. Full name is first name and last name. And username is, I like first name and first letter of last name. Give it a good password. Uh, don't encrypt the home directory because you may want to be able to poke into it as a different user in the future. And if you have a proxy server, then you have to put it in right here because it goes out and uses the apt or the aptitude package to download updates for your system. And this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, it's going to go faster for us through the power of the magic of video editing. And now you're going to choose to install security updates automatically. You could say no automatic updates, but I think it's safer to automatically install security updates. And now you're going to choose what default packages to install. Install. Just select OpenSSH server for now. That'll let you remote into this server from other computers, kind of like RDC. Uh, it'll let you get to the command prompt using PuTTY or another SSH client. The grub package uh, is the bootloader. And if you had another operating system on this computer alongside Linux, then you could choose between them. You're just going to say yes, install Grub, because you need a bootloader, and since you didn't already have one on there, you're going to use Grub as the default. And you don't need to understand that. Uh, just you have to have a loader, and Grub's the default one that comes with Linux. So now you're done. Go ahead and select Continue. It should pop the CD out of the tray, and when your computer reboots, It'll come to a login prompt, enter the user ID that you created during install, and the password, and it should load you up to a lovely blinking Linux prompt.